It was a long time ago that the fear of a very dreaded dacoit was prevalent in some states. The name of that dacoit was Ratnakar. He along with his companions robbed the passersby passing through the forest and even killed them if they protested. Once Dev Rishi Narada was also going from the same forest while chanting God's name. When he reached the dense forest he saw some people running in the opposite direction when devrishi asked them the reason for doing this everyone told him about ratnakar's presence on the way but in spite of this devrishi started moving forward aren't you scared the people running asked him seeing doing this no i do not believe that there is anyone else here besides me and fear is always caused by someone else not myself saying so the sage stepped forward after going some distance the coit ratnakar along with his companions came before him ratnakar said narada i am ratnakar the coit ratnakar narada smiled and said i am narada dev rishi narada your guest and i am fearless are you fearless Ratnakar said what do you mean Narada said i have no fear of life no failure no tomorrow no stigma and is there any fear that you know now tell me are you fearless Ratnakar said yes i am fearless neither i am afraid of life nor of failure nor of tomorrow nor of stigma Narada asked Then why do you live here hiding in these dense forests are you afraid of the king Ratnakar said no Narada asked are you afraid of the people Ratnakar said no Narada asked are you afraid of sin Ratnakar said no Narada asked then why do you stay here hiding Hearing this Ratnakar was terrified and stared at Devrishi alone Narada said I will answer you sin and are afraid of sin Ratnakar laughed and said Narada you cannot confuse me with these things I am neither afraid of sin nor of virtue nor of gods nor of demons nor of the king nor of the kingdom nor of punishment nor of law I have betrayed the state I have betrayed the society so I live here in these forests This is my vengeance. Narada asked, "What was the sin of which you are afraid?" Ratnakar said, "Don't provoke me so much that I kill you, Narada. So much so that I have already learned that the definition of sin and virtue is always determined by the strong and imposed on the weak. I have seen the expansion of empires by murder, by force, by deceit." I have seen the expansion of commerce by deceit immorality iniquity was that not a sin I was a soldier protected even the wicked and ruthless merchants wasn't that a sin why did I kill the soldiers who treated the women of the losers in the battle with animalism I have become a sinner I became the culprit of the king the army and the general was that a sin Narada said the sin of others cannot justify his own sin Ratnakar Ratnakar shouted I am not a sinner Narada said who will decide those who are with you on this journey or not is your wife your son are with you in this sin Ratnakar said yes why will they not be together whatever i do i do it only for their happiness Narada said So let's those who are with you make the decision. Go ask your wife, your son, your father, your near relatives what you are doing is not a sin and are they all with you in this sin? Are they a participant in this sin? Ratnakar said, "Okay, I will go back now." And instructing his companions to keep Narada tight, Ratnakar goes straight to his wife and asks her What I am doing is a sin are you my partner in this sin the wife says no lord 
I have vowed to accompany you in your happiness and sorrow, not to be a participant in your sin. Ratnakar gets shocked hearing this. Then he repeats the same question to his blind father. Father, what I am doing is it a sin? Are you my partner in this sin? Father says, "No son, this is your income. How can I share it?" On hearing this, it is as if lightning strikes Ratnakar. He becomes very sad and walks slowly back to the deity Narada. Narada said, "Your companions have left me alone, Ratnakar." Upon this realization, Ratnakar, falling at the feet of Devrishi, started crying, "Sorry, Devrishi, pardon me. Now I am also alone." Narada said, "No, Ratnakar." You are your friend and you are your enemy. You also created your old world. You will also create your new world. So get up and write your future with your effort. Devrishi Narada saw this transformation and lovingly explained to Ratnakar how stealing and killing animals was very sinful. He reminded Ratnakar that although his family was eager to share the fruits of his bad actions they would not share his sins devrishi narada taught him to recite the sacred name of ram ratnakar sat down in the forest and continued chanting with closed eyes his concentration was so deep that he remained in meditation for years In fact he sat there so long in meditation that an ant hill grew all around and above him one day devrishi narada came that way and carefully cleared away the ant hill what a kind smile narada declared ratnakar a sage as you are now reborn from a valmika ant hill from now on you will be known as valmiki With tears of joy in his eyes, the sage Valmiki began his new life. He built an ashram near the river Ganga that provided refuge to Mother Sita and Lord Ram. It was at this ashram that Valmiki Rishi composed the Ramayana. The moral of the story is that man is the master of infinite possibilities, where on one hand he can become a king by his effort. and on the other hand he can also rank with his laziness he can destroy himself by his indiscretion so can his nirvana by his conscience that is we are all superpowers in our own right but most of us are not able to use even a small part of our infinite powers in our lifetime why not leave mediocrity like dacoit ratnakar and move towards excellence I hope you learn Jai Shri Ram Jai Shri Krishna